Hello everybody, my name is Zaprano. In my last video, I showed you guys how you can transfer items from one hopper minecart to another using a flowing water source block. And you guys seemed really interested in the subject. So I decided to show you even more interested mechanics that you can use with this technology. For years, I always wanted to build a contraption that would detect the inventory of a minecart, but only send it once it's full. And I was never quite able to do it until now. So if we place five stacks of blocks, it waits until it's full. And as soon as it's full, it sends it and you can place another one and you can start the cycle over again. Now, I don't really enjoy the use of a chest for item transferring. I think it's slow. So this system also works with an item waterfall. So let's say you have a farm over here that produces materials. Well, you can just send them in the waterfall. And it auto picks them up instantly and does the same thing. But how does this contraption work? Well, let's place a block in here and see what it does. So over here, we have a comparator set on subtraction mode. And we have another comparator here that sends a signal of 14 in it. So the only way that this rail lights up is if the minecart with a hopper has a higher signal than this comparator, which is 15. Now, why does this comparator send a signal of 14? Because using the decorative pot, we essentially have a block with only one stack of item as an inventory. So what I basically did is I placed the decorative pot, put a hopper, and then placed 63 items in the item hopper. And then they went into this one and the comparator sees it as almost full. So this is why it sends a signal of 14. However, if the item count was lower in this decorative pot, it would send a signal lower. So it could send 13, 12, etc. So this helps you manage the amount of items that you want the hopper to have until it is sent. But I find that this contraption is really made for where you would send it when it's actually full. So let's continue. Now, when the signal is full, it sends a signal over here onto the rails and they light up and then this observer detects it and sends a signal to this dispenser and when this dispenser sends water into this block like we saw over here it starts flowing which means the minecart starts moving now after the minecart is gone so let's fill it up you can see that the water goes away and that's because using an observer makes it so it sends two signals. It sends one when it's full and when the mark mine card goes away, then it realizes that there's nothing full over here. So it sends another signal closing the rails, which essentially removes the water. So this lets us do this all over again. Now, what if you don't want to place a minecart manually? Well, all you need to do is make a circuit like this. So I'm going to place a minecart over here, fill it up with blocks. And like I talked about in the last video, the payload gets distributed in here and then the minecart gets pulled in this hopper and gets sent back, breaks on this cactus, 
and goes back into the dispenser. Let me show you again. So essentially, this lets us use the same rail to have a farm over here, pick up the items, then send the hopper minecart to another place of collection, collect the blocks, and send the minecart back to wait again until its inventory is full and do the cycle again. However, that only lets us bring items from over here to over there. So what we basically need to do is have a contraption that picks up the items on both sides. And this is what I built over here. So it's essentially mirrored. Um, and this middle rail is for where the minecart is going to go from one side to the other. So this can be as long as you want. But let's start it from over here. So you place the minecart on this detector rail and then fill it up with blocks. And it drops its payload over here and then gets dispensed into position. And this works the same. So if I fill it up with blocks, it gets sent drops its payload, and gets dispensed over here. So this contraption basically lets you communicate from one farm to another, sending resources along the same path, and having a delay to where the minecart picks up enough items before going to the other one. And again, it doesn't have to be full. You can switch it up with how many items you put in this decorative pot. But I think most people would use this as a way to have five stacks at a time. But there you go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little introduction to another mechanic you can use with the flowing water source block. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with these mechanics. I think there's a lot of potential and I hope you guys see it too. But this is going to be it for today and I'll see you in the next one.